I've been a member of the Community First Cooperative Credit Union ever since I was in primary school, I think. Um, my mom is a teacher, so back when it was the Teachers Credit Union, we were basically forced to become members, so I've been a member since then. I signed up for the Empowerment Series because it seemed like a very interesting program. It was an opportunity to learn more about the credit union, and I think they were advertising it that year under the theme, how to turn your side hustle into your main hustle. So that really intrigued me and that was really the reason why I signed up. The highlight of the seminar for me was really seeing myself through the eyes of a financial institution because on my own, I think I'm okay financially, but then when you were able to see yourself in terms of your debt to income ratio or the way that a bank really measures you against another applicant applying for a loan or your eligibility to serve as an official, that sort of thing, you know, it really um, gives you a different outlook on yourself financially and it forces you to make some, some harsh decisions and really some financial adjustments. Since completing the seminar, I think I'm more focused on retirement, sadly. Um, there's this thing that they taught us about counting the number of pay slips you have left. And well, back then it was up until 60, now we have until 65. So just really analyzing that and trying to figure out, okay, how much money would it really take for me to be comfortable at the age of 65? And just trying to put plans in place now to make sure that by then I'll be good. So that definitely was the main takeaway for me from the empowerment series. During the empowerment series, we had presentations from the loans manager, the general manager, and also, I think, current officials at the time. And they basically told us about the perks of being on the committee in terms of the learning curve, also the traveling opportunities, the networking opportunities. And I didn't really apply at first. And I think we had to attend the annual general meeting in order to collect our certificates and it was getting ready in getting ready to go to that ceremony we realized that there were vacancies and i was encouraged to apply and i did for the credit committee which is the committee which assesses the loans i became a member at the time the chairperson was jacqueline yearwood and i held that office for five years and upon leaving i was the chairperson of the committee i would encourage everyone to sign up for the empowerment session to be honest I think it's a great opportunity to really um, learn more about financial institution. I can't say that there, I may not be aware, but I'm not, I'm not sure that there are any banks out there offering members an opportunity to come and really learn the processes. You kind of tend to figure things out on the fly, only when there's a fee and you call to find out why am I being charged, that's how you figure things out. But by attending an empowerment series, you really find out how the credit union movement started, the whole foundation, you know, what your rights are as a member, what it is that you're entitled to, what are their future plans, where they're trying to go, the, the things that they treasure most that they're trying to protect, you know, you really have an appreciation for that sort of information. I would definitely encourage persons to apply for positions um, on the board and the committees. Completing the empowerment series is definitely a stepping stone. It, by, by completing it, you would have already had the foundation and the knowledge necessary to basically catapult into that role. Definitely, it's an opportunity to grow as a professional. It's an opportunity to network with other professionals, persons from other fields like carpenters and whatnot. You can't be assessing a loan and you have no clue what's the difference between a block and a steel, you know. So it's a learning opportunity and definitely helps you to grow as a person. For me, I really appreciate CFCCU because I, it really does feel like a family. I feel comfortable enough to ask a question if I don't understand something. I feel comfortable enough to make suggestions about products or services I'd like to see them offer. And I can genuinely see them making efforts or trying to see how can we offer this, how would it fit, just trying to change every year just trying not to be stagnant and I appreciate that the most about them they're always changing always growing and I think that's a major plus my name is Kerry Gore and I'm a proud member of the community first cooperative credit union